don't be afraid, it's still me. I had to change the camera view because uh, the battery ran out on my camera, so we're doing it connected now on the wire, on the electricity, so my extension wire is not so big. But don't worry, the lesson is the same, I'm the same, let's continue. This is the last part we did. Now it, the song starts becoming very, very sweet and also very macho at the same time. previous ones, I'll come closer again, like a seesaw puzzle. Holding down the A chord, you're going to finish with your strumming that we did before, and you're going to play the third string. Because you're holding the A chord, the third string is being pressed on the second fret. You play two times. Then you move your ring finger on the second string on the third fret. Then you play two more times on the second string on the third fret. You go to the first string open. Now this part I play the first string on the second fret. I do a hammer on pull off. I play open the first string. And I press release. You know this one, I taught it in other videos. Then on the second string, I go third fret, second fret. and a quadruple, just like the other videos. Everything happens on the first string. I play open the first string, then with the pinky I play on the fifth fret. Then I place one finger, my index finger on the second string, uh, sorry, on the first string on the second fret. And then again on the first string, I place my middle finger on the second fret. That yes, you're pressing together because you're going to play only one time the note, and you're going to do this triple pull off, pull off, uh, double pull off, pull off, triple notes. You're pulling off your middle, and then your index. And you're strumming again. You can play two times quadruple, or one time, so here it is slow, it sounds fast, but it is fast, but it's not so difficult to play. Here's the third solo part, the third part of the solo. First string, open, second fret, third fret. And I again leave my fingers on. Now I do a lot of notes with hammer on pull-offs. I play only one time with having only my index finger on the second, uh, second fret of the first string. Just like before. Hammer on, pull off, pull off the index. And then I jump on the second string on the third fret. Then I shape a D major chord. And I do again that strumming. So I'll, I'll try to hold the guitar high here so you can see. Should I should twist the camera down, but I'm too bored to do that. So here we go slow.
next part goes let me try and break it down again you're playing two times on, or like just hold down the D major and you're gonna play two times the third string and one time the second string then you're making a bar chord like this this is an F sharp that's the same as the F we were playing before but one semitone half a tone more down now here I lift my other fingers and I play that quadruple technique I taught you on the first video on the second string after I play that I place I still hold the bar on the second fret I place my middle finger on the second string I leave it there and I place my ring finger on the third string on the one two three fourth fret back to the second string with the same chord shape and then the first string which I'm pressing with the bar on the second fret I know it's confusing guys but this is an advanced uh, guitar playing and obviously without me being there and putting your fingers in the right spot is not that easy just play this video over and over uh, have a very close up view I'll do it like this as well I'll play it from the D one more time trying to get the best views I kick the camera off uh, that's a nice view there's another nice view I think that was the best view for you I can see now I actually twisted my camera around so I can see better so after you do that, you return back to your F sharp to, to go strum, quadruple strum. Here I just place my index finger, second fret on the first string, third fret on the first string, fifth fret, A major on the bar chords. very similar to the previous one I'm keep on kicking that stand uh, you just hold your bar on the fifth fret and you play the second string and you place your middle finger on the sixth fret of the second string and the last note is actually the last string while you're holding the bar use also the quadruple technique and then again to the A major to do your strumming running out of time once again on these videos I break it down as best as I can remember I am a teacher but a dance teacher not a guitar teacher this is my love and my hobby one of my loves and hobbies running out of time take care God bless I mean give or lose it.com get the ebook comment and rate take care God bless amen <laughs>